Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Jennifer and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle vlogs, and all things that pertain to that. So if you are not already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, today's video is basically everything that you will need to make breastfeeding and pumping on the go so much easier. Now, of course, the easiest, easiest way to feed on the go is to just breastfeed your child. I get that. I totally do. I am a mom of two. I just had my second child a couple months ago and my firstborn, she, we didn't do any of this. Anything that I'm about to show you, we didn't do any of it because she would not take a bottle. She only fed straight from the source. So I get it. That is definitely the easiest thing you could do because you don't need to bring anything with you. It's just you and your baby and you're good to go. Now, things are a little bit different for my second born. So I've kind of gathered all the things that have really, 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 truly made everything easier in terms of being on the go and being able to keep my child happy and fed. So first things first, we're just gonna get into the things. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna show, I don't necessarily use all the time, but I like to have it handy in case I need it. And that is some sort of breastfeeding cover. Now I just have this one, it's just like a muslin material, but it just happens to have like a neck strap and like a plastic, um, not wiring, but a plastic, um, like, uh, I don't know what you would call this, but basically it holds its shape. So like if you were to be feeding your child, they would be in your arms and then you would have like a, like a, breathing hole and like a view to see down and to, like to, to make sure your your baby's okay so this is my definitely preferred than like those other covers because i do feel like those can be uncomfortable for, for both mom and baby so if i have to use a cover this is the one that i use now the next thing is an inflatable breastfeeding pillow. So I have this one from my best breast friend and it is like the same shape as the traditional my best friend um, breastfeeding pillow. So this one however is inflatable. I remember thinking like when we were with my firstborn when we were on flights and, and like just traveling and things like that it was so uncomfortable like trying to hold her especially as she got like larger it was just like i needed some place to like rest my arm or rest her body or whatever so you know i i think one time i considered even bringing my bobby with me and that would have been yeah that's just not would not have <laughs> anyway so this is I'm just like pulling it up apart a little bit so this is what it is there is the valve right there so it is a double sealed valve yeah, so it has a pretty large opening so blowing up is super easy and you just blow it up and you put the cover on top you could probably even like put the cover on first and then blow it up if that's easier for you but then you just use it like a regular breastfeeding pillow and you're set and then once you're done you just deflate it and fold it back up and it's so much easier than trying to bring around an entire like full like a fully a full breastfeeding pillow it'll just make it a lot more comfortable if you have something like that so we're going to kind of move on into not so much breastfeeding on the go but pumping on the go so the first thing i'm going to show is and i've shown this before in like my vlogs is i have this little like water bottle bag that i got from target this has become my pumping bag because the inside over here, the big compartment is insulated and that's where I keep my wearable pump. So that's the other thing I would recommend is to have a wearable pump because that'll make it so much easier, obviously, <laughs> to do pumping on the go. Um, and then I use the Dapple breast, breast pump wipes and I have like the pack and I have the single ones. So I carry that in here. I also always have an emergency um, milk storage bag handy in case I don't have anywhere to put the milk, but I'll show you that in a second. And then I also bring around this um, this washable, reusable kind of um, food bag um, just in case if I need to keep 
the pumps separate so that like if I clean them or something and I want to keep it separate from something inside the insulated part, I have somewhere to put them. And then with this, so if you, so what I do sometimes is I will pump and put it straight into a bottle and give that to my baby and have them fed that way if we're out and about. Sometimes I just need to pump just to pump and you know not mess up my supply. So that means I need somewhere to store the milk. Enter the Ceres Chiller Chill. So this little handy thing is basically a way to keep your milk chilled or chill your milk while you're on the go. So this part in here, this little canister, that's where you would put your milk, it's six ounces. And then in this bottom compartment is where you would put ice water. Now you could do it opposite too. Like if you need more storage for your milk, you can put the milk in here and you could put the ice cubes in here to keep it chill that way. I just, I never need to store that much milk. So it always goes into the top part. And then this is great and it keeps your milk chilled or it chills it for you. And I kind of just keep this in this front pocket where normally the water bottle would go. And this is like my like little on the go pumping sitch. Now, a couple other things that, again, this is all just to make things easier. So let's say you are pumping on the go and let's say your little one needs a bottle. You have the bottle, you have cold milk. No baby wants cold milks. Now, now you can always go through like bringing the hot water with you and like a thermos or something. But I found that that's definitely a lot more inconvenient and it's just harder to do. So I found this portable milk warmer. This is great because you literally pour your cold milk into here, close this up, turn it on, and, and then you can choose the temperature setting. I always do 104, let that go, and it'll start to heat up the milk. And then once it's done, you just literally unlock the top, pop it open, and you pour the milk into the bottle, and it's ready to go, nice and warm and ready for your baby. I didn't necessarily love the fact that I had to put it into a different container and then do that, but this I found to be the most portable option, so I was kind of okay with it. So. But this has been great. We've used it a couple times already and it's just, it works fairly quickly. It just takes a few minutes and it comes out the perfect temperature for my baby and he loves it. So <laughs> a couple other things, just extra things that you would want to keep in mind is one, I do always bring an extra insulated bag, an extra cooler bag with ice packs. And the reason, there's two reasons for that. I'm either bringing with me cold milk that has been in the fridge and I need to keep it cold or I know I'm going to pump. I might need to keep my breast pumps chilled because there is like, I don't want it to, you know, in case for some reason, if I don't have time to clean it with the Dapple breast pump wipes, I need some place to keep them cold so that they don't, you know, kind of get gross and disgusting and unsanitary and all that stuff. So I do just kind of always bring it with me because you just never know. It was always nice to have these things. And then the last thing that I bring with me, not, this is less, this is not like an on the go, but this is more for the travel aspect is I do have a portable bottle cleaning station. So this one, and I will have everything linked down below um, if, you know, you're interested in any of it. So this one's nice because it comes with a silicone brush and it comes with these little trees. So you have places to put your bottles and your, your pump parts and all that stuff. So it's nice and handy. And there's like a drip tray here. So this is a great little setup and it, it folds all the way in. So there's no like extra, um, like things sticking out so it folds in like that and the nice thing is and i haven't used it yet it comes with a little bottle so you could put your whatever like i use the dapple soap put it in here so that it's all together all combined and that is it so this is great a little handle just for convenience sake <laughs> okay so that is it now like i said this is not everything you need to have it's just things that will make your life easier 
yes, I'm gonna say it again, the easiest thing to do is to just feed that child straight from the boob. But sometimes that is not an option or you just want a little bit more flexibility as a mom. You want someone else to feed the baby while you go do this or you just, you're just physically unable to do it. So this is the easiest way. So these are the things that I have been using or that I have found that have just made it so much easier to keep my child happy and to keep me happy. And again, just a little bit more flexibility. All right, so like I said, everything will be linked in the description box below if I can link it. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave a comment and let me know if I can answer anything for you or if you just have any feedback or maybe I missed something and you know of a great item or something that would help, help even more moms make this easier as they do feeding and pumping on the go or for travel. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Just loving this moment. Can we stay